Um, isn't part of the reason why um, the Conservatives are talking so much, uh, not talking about the NHS and education, is it not because that's a devolved issue and that's your responsibility, being in power in the Scottish Parliament? You should be looking after our hospitals and you're not, you're banging on about independence all the time. Yes, and let's take her, this, this, this lady in the front row here. Um, First Minister, um, and uh, well, I'd like to ask you both a question. Firstly, I'd like to say, do you think your perceived obsession with independence might actually cost you your seat in this election? And secondly, I'd like to ask, the NHS, you say that you've ploughed millions into it. I'm a nurse who I can't manage on the salary I have. I have to go to food banks. I am struggling to pay bills. I want you to explain to me, if you know one area that any of that money's gone, and can you tell me, because I can absolutely assure you, nurses are seeing none of it on the, on the ground floor. Nicola Sturgeon heard this woman in the front row here, this nurse, tell her that she has to go to a food bank because she doesn't have enough money. Nicola Sturgeon, you voted against a pay increase for nurses less than that's, 10 days ago. Just Why on earth would you not ask the richest people in society to pay more tax that to make sure that nurse can get the pay true. rise that she deserves? You know that's not true, Kezia. And you did you vote also, against it. You did vote against you it. You also know that because of the policies of the Scottish Government, a newly qualified nurse in Scotland is paid more than a newly qualified nurse more, in England. Three hundred pounds less somebody, than they should do. Somebody, a starting salary in the NHS is paid a thousand pounds she, more she in Scotland feed her family. than in England. But the, she can't feed her family. But what I've also said is that the pay freeze that's been in place because of Tory austerity being imposed is not fault. sustainable for fault. the future. And you know, the SNP government have done what governments south of the border haven't done. We have always accepted the recommendations of the NHS peer review body, and we always will, because that's the right thing to do for let NHS them staff. Eat cake. Well, let's, Nicola, let, let's let them go back cake. to the, the, the nurse in the front row who introduced this topic. What do you think of what you've heard there? <clears throat> They don't seem to be listening. I mean, there's thousands and thousands of nurse positions unfilled. And the reason of that is because it's such low paid. People can't, it's just not a sustainable, it's not a sustainable income. We can't live on it. Can I, can I, because I, I've got a lot of sympathy with what you're saying. We've had in the public sector, not just in the NHS in the last few years, a 1% uh, pay cap. Now, the reason for that has been austerity policy so we've tried to protect jobs in the NHS and the wider public sector. Now when inflation was pretty close to zero that was one thing but as I said a moment ago inflation is now rising so I am absolutely clear that that pay freeze that pay cap is not sustainable moving forward so we need to work with trade unions and negotiate with trade unions for fair pay not just in the NHS but across the public sector and that I think is the difference between the Scottish Government under the SNP and a Westminster Government under the Tories. We do listen to what our public sector workers are saying and we seek to act on what our public sector workers are saying because we value those who work in the public sector. Now we haven't actually... We listening. have not heard from David Coburn or Patrick How Harvey many years have we had 1%? How I accept years? that. Oh, how many? Tell me how many. I, for too many. I accept how many? that. We've had it since about 2008. Exactly. I accept that. So 2008, also, you haven't we, given, there's no pay rise. How do you expect somebody I'm to live on that? that? We are now having to strike. Do you think that's what nurses going to nursing for? I, I'm telling you now, I would rather leave nursing, as would many more of my colleagues, than have to strike, because you have no idea how demoralising it is to, to work within the, within the NHS. Don't come on your announced visits. Come in on the middle of any day into any ward, any A&E department. Come on in and see what we're up against. My, 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 my sister works in the National Health Service. 